Our top story this morning, new overnight, a deadly shooting after a concealed carry license holder opens fire on someone opening fire on him. Yeah, I heard it through the pipeline. Rulin' about how they gon' rob me in the night time. For real, they just waiting for the right time. But guess what? You never catch me without mine. Without mine. 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 You never catch me without mine. Yo, what's good, man? This your boy Smoke Tales. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you got it on you because I got it on me. You know how we getting down on this end. Self-defense claims are under investigation after a shooting in J.C. Napier area. A man is claiming self-defense following a shooting that left another man dead in the Napier area. Metro Nashville Dispatch said the shooting was called in shortly before 2.45 p.m. on a Saturday, May 25th from the block of 600 Charles East David Boulevard. According to the Metro West Nashville Police Department, a 23-year-old admitted to the shooting and told detectives that he shot the victim, identified as 29-year-old Brian Lewis, because he believed Lewis was about to shoot him. Officer said the preliminary investigation indicates that the 23-year-old suspect was carrying a box of canned goods to his apartment when Lewis approached him on the scooter and accused the suspect of shooting at him on a previous date, which the 23-year-old reportedly denied. The 23-year-old suspect told officers that Lewis began to get off his scooter and appeared and attempted to pull a gun from his waistband. That's when the 23-year-old said he dropped the box of canned goods, pulled his own gun, and shot Lewis. According to officers at the scene, first responders transported Lewis to a local hospital where he later died. Meanwhile, another person reportedly went to the hospital in a private vehicle to be treated for superficial injuries following the incident. Detectives reported the 23-year-old fled the scene but later surrendered to police headquarters. During the interview with detectives, the 23-year-old allegedly claimed that he had received word from others that Lewis was going to kill him. No charges have been placed against the 23-year-old in regard to the shooting. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Tonight, a homicide investigation is underway following a deadly shooting in Nashville. The shooting happened just after 2.30 p.m. on Charles E. Davis Boulevard. Police say one person was transported to the hospital where they died. Meanwhile, another person went to the hospital in a private vehicle to be treated for superficial injuries. Police say additional details will be released following the preliminary investigation. Tonight, Metro Police are looking for the person responsible for a deadly shooting in the Napier neighborhood. As our Driving Quickly reports, neighbors say they want the violence in their community to end. When Rita Cairo was coming home from work on Saturday, she says it wasn't a shock to see this scene just feet from where she lives. In today and time, I'm not surprised to see it anywhere. She says she assumed something bad happened, but didn't learn the details until later. Looked like chaos, cops everywhere, you know, blue lights blinking. That's so I then I saw the yellow tape, so I figured something not too pleasant happened. It was just outside of these apartments where police say a 32 year old man was shot twice and killed. Another man was taken to the hospital after a bullet grazed his leg. It all happened around 2.45 in the afternoon, a time Rita says her young cousins are often playing nearby. That's something she's now worried about. I understand that, you know, they're young and they want to get out, but I prefer to just, you know, take them out somewhere where they can preferably walk peacefully, you know, less chance of uh, shooting. Although she's telling them to take precautions, she says you can't live your life in fear. And this neighborhood is one her family has been in for three generations. So they don't plan on leaving. I just feel that uh, we, have, we can't stop living life no matter where you live at. Tonight, she says her heart is with the family and friends of the man that was killed. It saddens me because I know that there was probably a lot of potential there for greatness that is won't ever be fulfilled. Police are still investigating and have not released any information about suspects. In Napier, Dryden Quigley, WSMB4. Yeah, man, so you see how they getting down out there in Napier, Tennessee.
Shit, homeboy was minding his business, trying to take something into his apartment. This man approached him and talking about, you shot at me. If the man shot at you, why you ain't just jump off blazing? You doing all that talking. Went to reach for your gun, pulled your shit, but that man got to his faster. Hit your ass up for playing games. This is why it's good to train with your firearm, know what you're doing with your firearm. Be efficient with your weapon so you can do work when it's time to muscle memory you know that's what's gonna save you in the gunfight most time they say people say you go down to your basic skill level when you're drilling and pumping and all that so it's best not to train bad habits so you can rely on that if you have to rely on that alone then you're still able to do work this man ran up playing games and fucked around and took the sidewalk temperature challenge man this your boy smoke tails man until next time you never catch me without mine. Without mine, 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 you never catch me without mine.